all have some other talent, but there are absolutely normal people with some unusual talents. They are those we read about in medical archives. These are ordinary people with unusual abilities. Far from the quirky and at times disturbing feats turned world records, the one who can pop out his eyeballs to the one who can solve any complex math problems in his brain. These ordinary people possess truly remarkable talents that defy the laws of science and surpass what we know to be the limits of our human capacity. In this video, we will see 10 people who can do weird things. Are you ready for a surprise of your life? Take a seat because it's about to go down. But before we begin, kindly subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Let's get it on! 10. Orlando Sorrell As sad as brain damage is, a tiny percentage of people who suffer from it come out the other end with an unusual new ability. People who gain special abilities through a form of head trauma are called acquired savants. In general, savants have extreme mathematical capabilities or, can you say, draw the entire city of Rome in striking detail. In 1979, Orlando Sorrell was playing a baseball game in elementary school when a stray ball slammed into the side of his head. However, this didn't phase him and he kept playing. For one year, Sorrell experienced headaches that would last four hours. By the end of the year, he realized that he could perform superb calendar calculations, such as knowing how many Mondays there were in 1980. Along with this incredible skill, he could remember every detail of every day, much like a hypothermia sufferer. In Sorrell's case, this was obviously a much less severe form of brain damage. Yet, it was still head trauma. 9. Tai Nguc Vietnamese farmer Tai Nguc suffered a fever in 1973, which seemed like nothing much at first. When the fever cleared up, he had developed a bad case of insomnia. Thinking it would go away in a week, he didn't give it much thought. Now, over 40 years later, he hasn't slept since the night of the fever. After over 12,000 nights of no sleep, you would think he'd be dead. However, after examinations, the only thing wrong with him was minor liver problems. The only complaint from Naguk was that he's a little grumpy from not experiencing sleep for over three decades. He tried countless home remedies and even tried drowning himself in alcohol. Nothing seems to work. So why is his insomnia persisting for so long? One of the explanations could be a phenomenon called microsleep. Micronaps occur when a part of your brain gets tired and decides to quickly take a few seconds to nap. Almost everybody have probably experienced these when tired. Our brain temporarily shuts off and then goes back on again. Falling asleep while driving is a good example of microsleep. This could be how Naguk has been getting by for so long. 8. Elizabeth Sulcer By now, most people know about the bizarre condition called synesthesia, which is when someone's senses are crossed. For instance, when they eat a red Skittle, it may taste like cherry, even if it didn't actually have a flavor. Some people can feel color with their eyes closed. For Elizabeth Sulcer, her sight, hearing, and taste have been mixed, allowing her to see colorful sound waves and taste music. Assuming that this was a normal thing, she had been living her entire life thinking other people could also taste and see music and sounds. However, when Salsa realized no one else had these capabilities, she felt alone because she couldn't share what she was feeling with anyone. Synesthesia isn't all good though. People who can see sounds are constantly distracted in noisy areas and, as you can imagine, get headaches quite frequently. 7. SM Known anonymously as SM, this woman suffers from an unknown disease that has caused her amygdala, part of the brain that controls fear, to deteriorate completely. Now, a mother of three, SM is not able to feel fear, no matter how scary the situation is. In a study that tested her fearing abilities, SM wanted the scariest of scary movies and touched a snake's tongue. When SM was a child, however, she remembers being afraid of the dark. But by the time she reached early adolescence, her amygdala was already destroyed. 
In fact, she even describes an encounter with a man when she was walking through a park at night. He ran up to her and put a knife to her throat. Instead of being terrified, she calmly told him he would have to go through her guardian angel first, which scared him off. Today, she describes the experience as strange. 6. Dean Carnazes Anyone who has ever taken part in a marathon knows that at some points, you have to take a quick break. Yet for Dean Carnazes, something about his muscles allow him to run forever. Usually, the human body gets energy from glucose, which also produces lactate. If the lactate buildup gets to be too much, the body will produce lactic acid, which causes it to shut down. Dean's body isn't affected by lactate buildup, allowing him never to get tired. Dean started running in high school when he joined a track team. While the rest of his team could only go 15 laps, he did 105 before he was told to stop. Since then, he had stopped running completely until he turned 30. Obviously interested, some scientists in Colorado tested his endurance. They said the test would take a maximum of 15 minutes, but he kept going on the treadmill for over an hour. Because of this unique ability, he once ran 50 marathons in 50 days. 5. Chris Robinson Chris Robinson woke up one day after an extraordinarily vivid dream in which he saw two planes crash in mid-air. Since that day, he has allegedly been able to see the future in his dreams. Robinson can also wake up exactly when he wants and record his dreams in a dream journal he keeps. Stan Lee himself tested Robinson by setting up an experiment. He told Robinson that he would take him to 10 places the following day, and his job was to dream about the locations they were going to visit. The next day, Robinson wrote down each of the locations he dreamed about and put them in envelopes. As they drove to each location, they opened the corresponding envelope. And sure enough, Robinson had gotten everything right. 4. Eskel Ronningsbakken One of the most death-defying and incredible performance artists in the world, Ronningsbakken first got into the art of balancing when he was just five years old. His interest was sparked when he saw a person do one-of-a-kind feats on TV. When Ronningsbakken was 18, he ran away to a circus and performed there for 11 years. He knew that balancing was precisely what he wanted to do. Now in his early 40s, Ronningsbakken put his life on the line by riding a bicycle upside down on a tightrope over a canyon and doing handstands on a bar that hangs under a flying hot air balloon. Ronningsbakken isn't fearless, However, admitting that he gets anxious before some stunts. He claims that fear is part of what makes us human and that if he ever lost his sense of fear, he'd immediately quit. He'd be afraid of not being fully human. 3. Natalia Demakina In Saransk, Russia, a young girl named Natalia Demakina suddenly began seeing inside people's bodies. From a young age, Demikina had people come to her apartment to have her look inside of them and figure out their sicknesses. Interested in this X-ray girl, Dr. Ray Hyman decided to fly her to New York City and run some tests. One of the tests involved six patients who had various conditions, like a removed appendix or a metal plate in the skull from a brain tumor, and one control patient who didn't have any medical conditions. They gave Demikina six cards with all different conditions on them, and then sent the patients in one by one. She got four of them right, which sounds pretty impressive. Two, Wim Hof. Dutch extreme athlete Wim Hof got his nickname, the Iceman, by breaking a number of records related to cold exposure, including climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in shorts, running a half marathon above the Arctic Circle barefoot, and standing in a container while covered with ice cubes for more than 112 minutes. Using cold, hard nature as his teacher, his extensive training has enabled him to learn to control his breathing, heart rate, and blood circulation, and withstand extreme temperatures. 1. Stephen Wiltshire Stephen Wiltshire is an artist who draws detailed cityscapes. He has a particular talent for drawing lifelike, accurate impressions of cities, skylines, and street scenes after having only observed them briefly. He was awarded Member of the Order of the British Empire for services to the art world in 2006. His drawings are famous all over the world and are held in a number of important art collections and museums. 
Stephen started drawing at the age of five and sold his first work to the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom at the age of eight. Sir Hugh Cassan, president of London's Royal Academy of Art, referred to him as the best child artist in Britain. Stephen has since traveled the world and exhibited on every continent with record attendances. He continues to draw every day, and his motto is, do the best you can and never stop. Did you enjoy our video? Who among these great men and women inspire you the most and why? Well, if you enjoyed our video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our fantastic content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.